Welcome back, wealthy people, to a new episode on the Wealth Up channel, where we discuss everything new around Tesla, the Cybertruck, and other EV news. Today, we'll take a look at the Cybertruck and the different opinions people have on its looks. Will it sell the way it looks now? And of course, we have the Tesla video of the day for you later on in the video. Make sure to leave us a like if you're excited and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get into it. Elon Musk admits Tesla Cybertruck could be a flop, says he doesn't care. On July 15th, Tim Healy, writing in The Truth About Cars, offered his opinion. I've been thinking about this for quite some time, since the unveiling, really, and the more I see the truck in the news, the more I think that it might be Tesla's first true flop as a model. It looks like a one-off Hot Wheels toy come to life. You know the kind, those weird little toy cars that looked as if they'd be impossible to produce? Well, that's not going to make the Tesla fanboys too happy, is it? All we have to say on the subject is, opinions are like noses, everyone has one. Haley goes on to say, I still remember the launch in November 2019. It took place on the back end of a press day for the Los Angeles Auto Show. We weren't invited, and that's fine. I was at a dinner with another OEM anyway the night before driving one of the company's prototypes. During a lull in the conversation at Spago in Beverly Hills, we journalists started checking our phones to see what Tesla was showing. The reaction among the assembled media and PR folks was less than enthused. It sure seemed like it wouldn't be able to do what trucks are supposed to do, at least not well. It does have a bed and a lockable storage, and the claim towing numbers are impressive. But seems like the Rivian, Ford F-150 Lightning, and the upcoming GMC Hummer will be more usable as trucks. Naturally, Elon Musk had something to say about Healy's opinion piece. Musk is not wrong, GM, Ford, Dodge, and to some extent Toyota and Nissan have all tried their best to capture whatever the essence of pickup truckness is that causes Americans to run out and buy them like lemmings following each other over a cliff. Each has a distinctive grill meant to intimidate other drivers as much as possible. Every year, those grills get higher, wider, and more aggressive looking, which seems to bring more customers into their showrooms. The Cybertruck, quite obviously, is not playing that game which may turn out to be its greatest strength, but Honda's experience could have a lesson for Tesla. Early models with its Ridgeline pickup truck had flying buttresses along the sides of the load bed. Sales were dismal. The current version of the Ridgeline does away with those sail panels and sales have perked up nicely. Nevertheless, Tesla may have over 1 million reservations for the Cybertruck already. The not-yet-released electric Hummer has already had an effect on the Cybertruck. People are in awe of the Hummer's four-wheel steering that allows it to crab walk sideways. Tesla has already announced the Cybertruck will also have four-wheel steering available when it goes on sale. Competition really does improve the breed, but the rest of the design has changed a little since the Cybertruck has unveiled, including the absence of door mirrors. Naturally, Musk's tweets and the TTCA's story have created quite a stir on the EV subreddit forum, where many questions whether the Cybertruck with its angular front end will meet pedestrian safety regulations. On the subject of looks, here's a sampling of 300 comments so far. I liked it when they introduced it, I still like it now. I'm not getting one for two reasons. One, it won't fit in my garage. My partner hates how it looks and she said she wouldn't want to ride in it, but even though it's looking weird, something about it appeals to me. Vincent 1. I think it's more different than ugly. It's the differentness that doesn't appeal to many people, but it's the differentness that appeals to others. It does at least look strong, hard to argue with that. Whether it's as strong as it appears is anyone's guess, but ultimately it doesn't really matter. It definitely grows on you, I liked it less initially, but once I got over the shock, then it's not so bad. It doesn't sit quietly. If someone wants attention, they will definitely get it in one of these, which tells me it won't be an outright flop. I think it looks decent, to be honest. Global Shutter The Tesla Cybertruck looks are not as big a deal as critics think. The Cybertruck is a pickup truck, even if it does not look like a traditional truck. This means that it's designed to be capable enough to handle tasks that are typically expected of pickups. This is the reason why Cybertruck has a large 6.5-foot bed, 
100 cubic feet of exterior lockable storage, up to 3,500 pounds of payload capacity, and a towing capacity of up to 1,400 pounds. These matter, especially among buyers who actually use their pickup trunks for work. A reliable, rapid charging network matters. During car and driver's recent EV1000 test, it was revealed that the US's best electric vehicle rapid charging infrastructure is still the Tesla supercharging network. There are other networks that provide rapid charging services, but few, if any, could match the supercharging network ease of use, reliability, and sheer size. This matters a lot for all electric pickup trucks, many of which would likely not achieve their rated range due to the cargo they carry or the items they tow anyway. What is rarely mentioned is that Teslas are not only compatible with the supercharging network, Teslas can also charge at EVgo and Electrify America stations, to name just a few. This means that the Cybertruck could charge at the same rapid charging stations as rivals like the F-150 Lightning on top of the supercharger network. This is a notable advantage and one that would likely be appreciated by those who drive the all-electric truck. Looks may not matter as much. One has to get this point out of the way. Trucks are tough, vehicles that are widely expected to handle the worst that the elements can offer. The Cybertruck could definitely be described as ugly, but it's just like other pickups in the market in the way that it's not necessarily competing with exotic supercars in the looks department. Elon Musk may have a point when he noted that pickups have generally looked the same over the decades, and it might be time for something new. The Cybertruck is designed to weather the worst that the elements can offer, and with its thick stainless steel exoskeleton and tank-like appearance, it definitely ticks off the boxes in the toughness department. With this in mind, reasons like, but it looks weird and I'm not comfortable with its looks, almost sounds pretty lame. Even businesses that offer fleets of pickup trucks would probably prefer a vehicle that's superior in specs and price, after all, even if its looks leave some to be desired. Besides, being different does not necessarily mean that something will be a flop. Just look at the Nissan Duke. No one can deny that it looks extremely weird, but it has sold over 1 million units in the first decade of its production. Why was this so? Because it's a dang fun car, and it's quirky, and it does crossover things in a very good crossover way. It's fairly reliable, sturdy, and cheap to maintain. Other drivers on the road would be hard-pressed to ignore it too, for better or for worse. Alright guys, it's time for the video of the day. Let's take a look. In my last video showing off Smart Summon, a lot of people said it was fake. It's really 2021 and people still think cars can't drive themselves. As soon as I held down the come to me button, my Tesla backed out of the spot and started driving to me. And from a distance, it really does look like my Tesla is driving itself. But I was lying. Believe it or not, my Tesla is actually driven by Doge. How is that for a video? Let us know what you think about it in the comment section below. Would you like to have your video on here? Then leave us a mail in the address in the description. And that would be it for today. What do you think? Will the Cybertruck sales flop just because it looks so different? Make sure to let us know in the comment section below. Also, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This video was brought to you by Neil Glasgow and as always, see you next time wealthy people.